Hey guys, Vert's Education here and welcome back to the Blueprints Creation Series. And in today's episode, we're going to be teaching you how to make a dynamic uh, day and night cycle inside of Blueprints. So if you take a quick look at my scene here, you can see exactly what we're going to be creating uh, today. So as you can see, as time goes on, the color of the sky changes. And you can also see, uh, in a second, uh, the light source moves through the sky and that's all nice and dandy and it's all proportionate and works uh you know like a proper day and night cycle anyway so let's go ahead and uh open up blueprint and see exactly what i've done here so if i open the level blueprint we got a couple of bits and bobs and pretty much the whole purpose of this tutorial is to break this down and show you uh sorry and explain exactly what all of this means and pretty much show you how to use it and then make your own day and night cycle so Let's get rid of this and uh, we're going to have to start from scratch. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go and open the level again and we're going to have to do a few things before the light uh, before the light can actually be used for a dynamic light cycle. So first things first, in the world outline in the top right, locate your light source. So just go ahead and do that. Just look for light source, click it. Once you've done that, when you go to transform, change the mobility to movable. That way you can actually move it through the sky using blueprints and it should all update uh, properly. Anyway, now we've done that, we're all good. Um, so the next thing you need to do is go ahead and open blueprints. So let's open the level blueprint. You can't use a class for this, so you've got to do it. Uh, just put in the level blueprint and first things first we need to create a timeline a timeline is essentially going to tell the uh, it's going to tell blueprints where to position the sun based on the time so if you type in timeline just go to the bottom and type add timeline once you've done that double click it and add a float track but before you do that just select a few options first things first press autoplay and press loop that way it will keep on looping and looping um, you know because time doesn't run out at the end of the day it's gonna play over a couple of times and for the length we're gonna change this to 24 and that each hour is gonna represent sorry each uh, second there on the length is gonna uh, represent an, an hour so once you've done that go ahead and press add float track once you've done that, just name it whatever you want. I'm going to call it position. And there we go. And then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to press shift. We're going to add in a new, uh, a new place. So just shift and then click to add that. And once you've done that, on the time up here, set that to, uh, let's set this to zero. Zero. And the value for that is going to be, just play around with the value, but I'm going to work with something that works for me, seen, I've seen it elsewhere, is 270. Once we've done that, we need to add another position. So shift click again, and this is going to be for the end of the day. That's going to be 12, uh, 24. So the start of the day is going to be uh, zero, and then the end of the day is going to be 24. And then the value for this is going to be 90. So if you go ahead and press the zoom to fit horizontal and zoom to, hit ver to fit vertical, you can see exactly what's going on here. Now, if you wanted to, you could actually make the sun go up and down for midday and everything. Um, but I'm not going to worry about that for just now. I just want to show you how to actually get that sun moving to start with. So that's all done. Everything's all fine in the... Uh, in the timeline so let's just go ahead and close that and now we need to do a few things so first things first get your light source and then just make an instance of it in your blueprint so just drag it in just like that and then the next thing you want to do is make a rotation so we need to pretty much convert the degrees information to a pitch on here so just hook up make rotator to position and once we've done that, just go ahead and uh, create a set actor. Sorry, using this, just click it. This, this needs to be its own little command from the light source. So just drag it out and type in set actor rotation. And then just press enter. So now, every time the timeline updates, we want it to set the rotation of the sun. So just hook it up here from the rotate and just drag it in. Now it will update. Also, the return value over here for make rotator, which is pretty much the conversion thing, 
um, you just need to hook that up into the new rotation. So it should get everything from the timeline. Now there's one last little step here that we need to do and that's for the sun sphere. Because the light source itself is not actually the material on the sun, that, uh, sorry, on the sphere that you see here. Um, it's just light in the scene. This little light circle here is actually coming from the, uh, the sky, fit, sky sphere. So we need to update that. So to do that, just go into World Outliner, type in Sky Sphere, let it come up, and then just once again drag it in to create an instance. And from here, click the little blue reference bit here and create something called update uh, sun direction. There we go, and then just drag it in, just like that. And hopefully, now if we've done everything just right, it should work. So I'm gonna go ahead and press compile. I'm gonna make sure I build the lighting, otherwise it won't work. Sometimes building the lighting only takes a couple of seconds, maybe a couple of minutes. It depends on uh, how big your level is and what your computer's like and all that stuff. Um, but we're not gonna worry about that for now. Anyway, so let's just go ahead and press play and press simulate. And now, if you look up in the sky, you can see that the sun is moving up and down and the sphere is actually changing the time and everything and it looks really pretty. Now, don't forget you can actually play around with the timeline values to make it better for yourself, tweak around with them, do whatever you want. Um, but there we go, we got our basic uh, day and night cycle. Thanks for watching, comment, like and subscribe and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.